Hey guys, welcome back. This is FaisalCon. And in this video, we're going to continue our Amazon Connect architecture concept of deployment. Now, Amazon Connect offers self-service configuration and enables a dynamic, personal, and natural customer engagement at any scales, although whether it is a 10 user license versus uh, 10,000 user license or agent with a variety of migration and integration options. So here we're going to talk about the different scenarios and deployment options that are available to us. We're going to look at things like to working with traditional contact center, inbound contact center, outbound contact center, hybrid contact center, legacy based contact center, as well as virtual desktop infrastructure. Now, typical contact center or traditional one usually requires some sort of significant technolo uh, technology in place, whether you need an IP telephony, you need some sort of media environment, you need a networking, you need to have worry about database, compu compute inf infrastructure such as computers, servers, etc. All this hardware footprint that can span multiple vendors and different data center location to serve that particular context. Now, each individual solution and vendor may have a unique approach, unique hardware requirement, unique software requirement, unique support requirement, et cetera. Now, when you have so many of this platform working together, it makes things more complicated in terms of resolving versioning issue, compatibility issue, and of course, licensing conflict. It is a very common for a separate vendors and infrastructure requirement for local and remote agent hardware whether you need a VPN or Expressway, many different solutions that exist where the users are logging from home and we want to make sure that those connectivities are secure as well. If you are going to use text-to-speech server or automatic call distribution or IVR, then you may need different platform. To give you an example, if you are going to use Cisco UCCE or Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise Platform, well, without having a CVP in place, it is going to be very difficult for you, for you to play an audio or IVR functionality. And if you, do, if you don't have the CVP, then it becomes a very difficult for the UCCE alone to provide call queuing functionality. So therefore, uh, when you deploy a solution like that, you need you know, UCC server, you need CVP server for those call routing and call, uh, call queuing functionality. But for telephony part of it, then you need a call manager. And then if you want to do text-to-speech, you need external text-to-speech server. So it made it difficult for a company to make a decision as to what platform you want to go. Now, obviously, Cisco has been the champion of contact center for a very long period of time. They have one of the largest contact center share market share in the world. However, as the other vendors like Amazon Connect, Genesis, WebEx are coming into the play, it makes it making uh, it makes life easier for vendor small to mid sized biz, uh, businesses to get onto this new contact center world without having to worry about any of this hardware infrastructure that we talked about. So by reducing the number of hardware vendors, number of software requirement, number of uh, integration requirement, makes it life more easier for companies to manage and focus their contact center activities. Now, then, of course, you have the inbound contact center. Now, the term inbound contact center is used to describe a communication that is requested by the end user or your customers when they dial your toll-free numbers or local DID. A contact or a call can reach your Amazon Connect contact center for inbound self-service or even talk to a live agent in a variety of ways. They can either use a telephone line to communicate, they can call from their cell phone, they can call from their VoIP line, they can call from their old PSTN phone if they have one. Or they can even chat with a live agent uh, live via the web chat uh, functionality. Now you can integrate that chat from your web page for, from within your mobile app or desktop app that you might have. So giving the uh, contact a multiple way of communicating makes much more uh, engagement with uh, your client. Now you can reserve a phone number with Amazon Connect directly or port your existing phone number, or you can forward a voice contact to your Amazon Connect in case if you cannot forward or port your number into it. 
Amazon Connect can provide local or toll-free numbers in all the region where this particular service is supported. When a phone call is placed to that particular number, the toll-free number or local number that you claim, the contact it will then hit the the call will then come through the Amazon's telephony career uh, uh, provider into the Amazon Connect instance. The contact flow will be will be then associated with that particular phone number will get invoked and an IVR will kick in and you know it, that IVR can walk through uh, you know um, guide the uh, contact from a step by step process until a either the uh, customer's requirement has been resolved or a live agent handles the call then you have an outbound many are many many companies are using the contact center to make an outbound call in order to facilitate either survey marketing campaign or even election night or you can also allow the inbound caller who are waiting in the queue and options to uh, have the system call them back should there be a callback request. In that case, outbound contact will be required. Outbound campaigns are typically driven by contact sent contact data that are import, uh, exported from your existing CRM or maybe a customer data leads that you have purchased or collected from your third party providers and then have the contact center call those customers. And if they answer the call, you can have that call either connect to a IVR system so that they can hear the messages or connect the call to a live agent. All depends on what your uh, requirement is. Now, these contacts can be prioritized and either delivered to an agent for initi to initiate a, uh, after a period of preview or programmatically contact via the Amazon Connect outbound API which is driven by your contact flow logic. So outbound campaign is a very uh, essential part of any contact center these days, either for making an outbound courtesy callback or simply by calling the customers to get an idea whether they are happy with their product or they are uh, unhappy with your product. And then you have your hybrid environment. Now, if you have a requirement to transfer con contact, between your Amazon Connect and legacy contact center technologies, you can use the hybrid model. Hybrid model will pass the contact data with the transfer. For example, a sales business unit in a legacy contact center platform may need to transfer a call to a service business unit that has been migrated, migrated to the Amazon Connect. Now, without a hybrid architecture, call details will be lost and may require a contact to be repeated. All the information, such as their account details, there may be their credit card information, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, this could increase the handle time and may result in a contact calling again. And kind of customers often don't like to be put in a hole for the same purpose. They have been just put on hold for 30 minutes. And then when they get transferred to another department, and then they get put on hold again for 30 minutes you will have a lot of uh, unhappy customers for that matter. But if you enable the hybrid architecture, hybrid architecture can pass the data to the new contact center on cloud and all the information or most of the information should be preserved. Hybrid architecture requires you to claim as many phone number as you expected, the maximum concurrent contact and an immediate state database accessible by both Amazon Connect and your legacy platform must be available. So the database access, so you must have an intermediate database access, which will be accessed by both the system. Now, uh, Amazon Connect, uh, when you transfer, when a transfer is required to another platform, you will use one of these phone number as a unique identifier. So what's going to happen is when you're transferring from your legacy to your hybrid, uh, the system is going to use a, that particular phone number information to store the data into this intermediate act database and the lamp, uh, amazon connect will then contact the intermediate database look at the phone number and then map the data based on that now of course this is just a high level there are more in-depth knowledge of uh, required in order for you to build, uh, build this hybrid environment then you may have a contact center with the agent only uh, with this approach you may have a legacy contact center ivr drives the contact ivr self-service and logic and if necessary, you can transfer the contact to the Amazon Connect to route a call to an agent. Pop, uh, agent. 
in this environment what's going to happen is a contact will dial a phone number that is claimed with your old legacy platform like uccx or ucce and the, the ivr platform of those devices will handle the calls if they need to be transferred to an agent an agent is logged in on amazon connect then the legacy contact center platform will query an available Q uh, unique phone number, plug it as in use, and write the relevant contact details into the into that intermediate uh, database. And then the contact will be then transferred to the Amazon Connect with a phone number that is returned by the legacy contact center query, and the legacy contact center will then uh, Amazon Connect will then look at or inquiry the intermediate database to find out which agent the call should be sent to. Last but not least, you have what we call is a virtual desktop infra infrastructure. You can use the Amazon Connect control panel within your virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI environment. It will add another layer of complexity to your solution that warrants a separate point of contact effort. And of course, performance tests uh, can be required uh, require to optimize. Now, this is usually what's going to happen is a customer might and not might be uh, agent might be logging in from various location and you don't want to you know, provide hardware to an agent. You tell the agent to, hey, use your own personal device to log into this virtual machine. From there, you can access all your uh, agent desktop. Now, the problem with those type of devices is that when you're logging in from um, to a VDI client with your local browser, sometimes the audio stream may not be may not work properly so you can build a custom control uh, co contact control panel with amazon connect stream api by creating a ccp or contact control panel with no media for call signaling this way media will be handled within the local desktop using the standard control uh, contact control panel and signaling and call control will be handled under remote connections now, sometimes a VDI client does not have access to the local browser. In this scenario, you can create a single CCP instance with a media run from the VDI server, allowing you access to your enterprise resources. For this type of deployment model, you, the UDP audio will be usually enabled on the iOS of the VDI. Now, this deployment model, however, requires extensive testing to calibrate the different VDI server parameters in order to optimize the quality of your experience. All right, so that's the overview about the uh, deployment scenario uh, in terms of how your Amazon Connect will be deployed. So you have an uh, inbound contact center, you can have an outbound contact center, you could have an agent-only contact center, even a hybrid contact center. Depending on what you need, you want to, of course, uh, choose the model. You can have uh, both inbound and outbound simultaneously. There's absolutely no uh, issues with that. Uh, and if you are migrating from an existing contact center and you have you're doing a slow migration where part of your department are migrated from legacy to cloud in that scenario what you want to do is that you want to use a hybrid concept remember when you whenever you're doing a hybrid concept you are going to need what we call an intermediate intermediate uh, database the intermediate database has to be accessible from both uh, legacy-based platform as well as from your uh, cloud-based platform. So whenever the transfer is happening, the, each uh, side of the contact center will initiate or store data into that intermediate database and other side will then pick up that information from that intermediate database to continue uh, the particular call. So it's extremely important that when you're doing a hybrid environment that you understand the database requirement and the database should be in a accessible from both environment. VDI, which is a virtual uh, device environment, which is required if you are, if you have agent logging into a virtual device from there, they're accessing the agent desktop. All right, so that's it for the deployment model. The next video we're gonna focus on is the operational excellence and security. Until then, see you next.